What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video I wanted to go over my portable uh, work space that uh, I haul with me in my bag and uh, this is definitely what I use to uh, do like my college school work and that kind of stuff on it just seems to be like the best uh, workstation that I can take and and I've made it portable I take this to coffee shops libraries and stuff like that and set up shop and I can easily do my work um, with these tools you see right here in front of you and this makes for like the best setup that I think I've come up with yet uh, so I wanted to share that with you guys especially those of you that are going to school um, you know even high school if you wanted to if you could afford all this stuff I mean this is more college even work if you're you know you take your work home with you or you do a lot of work uh, on the road and travel a lot <clears throat> then this is a great setup also for, for that situation so let's just take a look at it so this is definitely an Apple based uh, setup. So, I mean, if you don't like Apple and you don't have any Apple products, then this probably isn't the video for you. Uh, but if you do uh, have the iOS and Mac uh, systems that you predominantly use, um, and I might try to do a Windows one at some point, you know, I do have a, a uh, like a Surface uh, Pro and then I also have like a, a Windows laptop also, but uh, this is what I've come across that I seem to get the most use out of. So let's go ahead and go from left to right <clears throat> and cover what kind of items I have here and how this is all set up and working. Alright so for the first thing over here to my left probably the best mouse. Now it's not the most portable mouse to, to do because it doesn't fold up and it does take a little bit of space up but is the Logitech MX Master Mouse. This is a great uh, mouse for just one hand uh, productivity, you can see it's got side scroll wheels, top scroll wheels, it fits ergonomically very well, uh, doesn't mess with your wrists hardly at all, uh, and it just feels really comfortable and it's a very nice, very good productive mouse. So I do use the MX Master Mouse uh, in my bag. Then over here also to the left I have a RAV Power uh, battery bank. Now this guy here is, let's see, 26,800 milliamp uh, and it's got type C and a couple of type uh, A USB ports or 3.0 uh, ports, whatever you want to call them. But uh, this thing's a beast right now. I got the type C to type C uh, cable in here that uh, is powering the MacBook Pro. Yes, I am actually charging my MacBook Pro uh, because you know you don't want to lose your your uh, power source and uh, it's always hard to find a place just to plug in plus you got that cord it's a trip hazard you don't want anyone tripping over it you don't want to trip over it so this is a really good solution for me I'm powering the MacBook Pro right here type C through this RAV power charger then I have my iPhone um, take that with me you know uh, just got it up here on this little portable dock that actually charges so this little dock Stores in the bag, uh, has a small battery in it, like uh, 2,000 milliamp, I think, or uh, something like that. Oh, two, yeah, 2,000 milliamp. Uh, but uh, this will actually charge. You can check it. See, it's got a charge, and uh, this docks your phone really nice, so you can see what's going on. You get text messages or something, and then you actually reply to them on your iPad or MacBook if you're on the same network, right? <clears throat> so that's actually really nice. Uh, that you can actually just kind of dock your iPhone and have it right here in part of your display. Now, uh, if we move to the right here, of course, this is the MacBook Pro 2017 edition. Uh, so it's got the touch bar and all that. Uh, I usually use the website, so I'm like usually on the internet or on my college's website or whatever, doing my homework. I'm using maybe got Word, maybe I got uh, Excel or something pulled up over here. And then over here on my iPad, and this is an iPad Pro 9.7 inch. Now it's connected to this MacBook through a mounty device. Uh, so this little device here mounts onto the screen and mounts to the iPad. So you've got another display. So I can actually look at, as I'm reading maybe the chapters of the book, I can follow along with like the PowerPoint slides and stuff like that. Uh, you know, so it works really, really well. 
that I can have the book open over here, the electronic version of the textbook, or the PowerPoint slides, or whatever. Now I'm using a program called Duet. So you install the Duet client on the MacBook, and you install the Duet app on the iPad. You launch it, now you have to have a lightning cable. Now since this is of course a MacBook Pro, 2017 edition, all I have are Type-C ports. So I have this dongle from Quack Quack. Uh, plugged in so I can actually take my lightning adapter USB 3.0 plug it into this into the type C and now I'm doing screen sharing so the screen is being shared over here so literally if I was seeing this I can move this over here I can uh, close PowerPoint and now I've got the background over here so I'm controlling the iPad through the MacBook I don't have to use the touch screen I can use a touch screen and in fact with the MacBook Pro, it has a touch bar on the iPad. You can actually take the touch bar and put it on the bottom of the iPad as well, which is really kind of a cool, cool feature. Now I have this Belkin Apple Pencil holder, so if I do any work uh, on the iPad, I use this Apple Pencil, and I can basically, you know, there's the Duet, um, Duet, Duet Pro. Uh, obviously, if you want to pay for the Duet Pro, you can. But I have the Apple Pencil because I do use this for taking notes and just basically like a stylus or something on the iPad, uh, which just comes in really handy. You know, instead of sitting here pushing on it with this little mounty, this makes it a lot less pressure and just works really, really well. And this Belkin case has a nice Apple Pencil stand, so I've got it sitting right there with me. Now, all this, then if I want to drown out any surrounding sound, I will pop in my AirPods. As you can see here, I do have the Apple AirPods. So this is very much an Apple ecosystem when it comes to being a portable work uh, setup. And I got, I got to tell you, though, this works really, really well when it comes to uh, just functionality, ease of use. Uh, it doesn't take long to set up. I get this all in my backpack with no problems whatsoever, and it's just a great, great portable workspace. So hopefully this has helped you guys out. If you guys are looking for a portable workspace that you want to set up and, and get out there and use, uh, this is definitely one that I have found that is like the best one I've come up with yet. And I've tried a lot of different things, a lot of different combos, I just can't get comfortable with it. I can't feel as productive as I am at home where i got multiple screens and that kind of stuff, but this setup, I feel pretty for, very productive. I almost prefer this now over sitting at a desk um, in my office or whatever. Uh, I can go anywhere, you know, I go to a brewery, a tap house, a coffee shop, library, like I said, set this up and bam, I am productive, I'm in my zone and I'm working and I love it. Gotta have Wi-Fi, so you know, you can't always open a hotspot on the phone and use that, but uh, for the most part, um, you know, most of those places I've mentioned, I do get on free Wi-Fi and I am able to do my work. So anyway guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, show notes, I'll have links to all this stuff, uh, and a little bit of descriptions like the Duet app and stuff like that. Uh, so if you are interested in trying to set up anything like this, maybe you have some of these pieces and you want a little bit more of the puzzle to put together, that's why I'll have it all listed out there in the show note links, so check it out guys. Hopefully this has helped you out a lot. If it has, subscribe to the show. More content like this coming. And again, like the video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.